Oh, I look short on one and tall on the other. What the heck? How does this always happen to me? There, yeah, maybe that's a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Here we go. Chapstick, chapstick. Okay, oh, Diane, you're the first one here. Good morning in Florida. Hi, Jane. Good morning. Let's see. I think all my settings. Oh, hang on. I got the wrong chat on here. There's so many things to do. There we go. Oh, there's some peeps. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Gina. Hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Shirley. Good morning. Shirley, I was looking for the cards that you gave me. And remember when I told you the cleaning ladies came? I I have a, I had a stack of things to show and I can't find them. I will find them though. And I will show them. I still have this one that you made me. That's in my special desk. But I'm looking for the other ones and I can't. I will find them. They will show up. They're going to be in a weird spot. I just know it because when, when I clean, I throw things everywhere. Rhoda says it's hot, hot and humid in Texas. The sun is shining here. I am so excited. Actually, you can kind of see the sun coming in. Hi, Gwen. It's Cerritos. You're enjoying the sun also. Hi, Pharrell in New Mexico. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Toby. Hi, Diane. Hi, Joy. Oh, and Joy and Joe. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Ponzi. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jennifer in Oklahoma. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Hi, Connie. For Connie, it's afternoon. Hi, Janet. Good morning. Um, hi, Dolores in Maryland. Hi, Brenda on Facebook. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Melody, my dear. She says it's hot. Hello from hot Pennsylvania getting bad storms this afternoon. Ooh, yikes. Good time to stay in and craft, right? Hang on. Let me move this over a little. Um, hi, Debbie. Good morning. Haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Diane. Hello. Hi, Katie Clements in Ohio. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Daisy Girl. Hi, A.M. Blumenthal uh, from Upper Pennsylvania, Michigan. 60 degrees. That's cold for me. <laughs> uh, Shirley says, might not get to talk a lot. Need to go to bed. Um, she has to work tonight. Um, hi. Oh, Diane has skin cancer on Friday. Oh, no. Hang on. I got to write these down. Um, a sur surgery, right? Yeah, Diane's having her surgery on uh, when? Wait, hang on. Friday, Friday. I'm writing it down. Um, Joy says, I love this remember romper room. I know, Joy, remember? I see Mary. I see Sandra. I see Joy. I see Ponzi. They never said Stephanie. Never. Never. <laughs> um, actually, um, Ken and I went out to dinner. Hi, Gail. Hello from Torrance. Hello. Hi, Francis. Uh, we went to dinner on uh, Friday night for our anniversary. And our server's name was Stephanie. And I'm like, I had like a 10 minute conversation with her. I was so excited because you don't hear very many Stephanies. It's kind of weird. Um, hi, G. Well, although on here, I see a lot of Stephanies, which is funny. Uh, hi, Grinelda. Good morning. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Joy. Joy. Um, they never said Joy. They Oh, they never said Joy. No, they probably didn't. Pharrell, good morning. Hi, Annette. Good morning. Uh, so let's see. Um, Oh, wow, Shirley. Uh, Gail, will anyone be at the store today? Uh, I sent a package but cannot be delivered. It Yes, there, there is lots of people there on Mondays to receive packages. Yes. Um, what did you send, Gail? You better not have sent what I think you might have sent. <gasps> you better not have. You better not have. I'm just saying. But yeah, if you track it, Gail, it should show it should show delivered today uh, that it can be delivered today because um, Ken, Maria, and Feline all come in on Mondays. Um, hi, Paula. Paula said her oldest granddaughter's name is Stephanie. Yay. Diane says 91 degrees with feels like 97 in Florida. I always laugh when they say that. Feels like it's this, but it feels like this. It cracks me up, Diane, because it's like, who gets to decide what it feels like? I want to be able to decide what it feels like. It feels like 73, but real, I know it is 73, but it feels like it's hmm, 76 and a half. Point two. I don't know. <laughs> I always that always cracks me up. Um, uh, Shirley says my niece Margaret's daughter is Stephanie. Oh yay! Hi Vicky. Good morning. Um, oh, so you guys, Vicky, seeing Vicky's name reminded me of this. So and Diana's not here. I don't know if Diana's on the chat. Um, but uh, I'm going to show this on Thursday also. But you guys get to see an up close. Hi Nancy, my love. I think of you every Sunday in church because I have my um, my Bible cover. Grinelda says, thank you, Stephanie, for bringing the sea turtle fold it. Yay. Oh, she's going to be using it to decorate a bulletin board in kindergarten. Yay. Make sure you upload a picture of it. I want to see it to our gallery. Um, 
So, hi, love colors. First time in two years, I had surgery last Wednesday, feeling better. Good. I want to thank you for your ministry of prayer to, prayer to crafters. May the Lord continue to bless you. Thank you, love colors. I'm glad to see you're here. I'm so glad. Pamela says, did I miss anything? Not much yet. But, okay, so Diana, Diana gave me this idea. And um, when I saw her at our church um Hi, Serenity. She says, love the turtle. I know. Actually, you guys, I this is my favorite fold it. And I, I think by the signups that we've gotten, it's a lot of your favorite fold it's too. <laughs> a lot of people have it's joined the fold it club over the weekend because of the of the turtle. And the stencil is so awesome. I love it. Anyway, so uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Diana gave me this idea and bless her heart. She made one for me. So what it is, is it's to hold my personalized stamps. And I, Diana, I don't know if you're here, but I'm going to show it on Monday too. I'm sorry, on, on Thursday, but it's, this is what it is. So here it is. She, and she made one for me. So this is just like a card and let me tell you what size it is. I'll show it on Thursday also though, but you guys get to see it up close and personal. If I could find a ruler. Okay. So the white card is eight and a half by five and a half. Oh, that was easy. Eight and a half by five and a half. So just cut in half, right? Just cut it in half. Grinelda, oh, she always says save the turtles. You know what? I actually got to um, work when we went to Bora Bora for our big anniversary. We got to um, volunteer in a sea turtle sanctuary hospital. We got to pick up the sea turtles and move them and clean their shells. It was the most glorious day of my life. Um, so this is like a sample of some of my, I've started to do this now. So this is a sample of all of my um, personalized stamps. And I stamped it on this white card. Now, Diana is more, more organized than I am. She actually just uses the acrylic piece that it comes with. But there it is. All, there's some of them stamped right there. So, you know, and I think it's backwards in, um, it might be backwards in Facebook. But made for you by Stephanie, a one of a kind by Stephanie. Yes, I made this. You better save it. Made just for you, hug Stephanie. Big hugs to you, Stephanie. Happy birthday, hug Stephanie. Made just for you, big hugs. Made for the blah, 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 it goes on and on. But that's not all of them, because I'm not done. And then on the back, oh, see, and some of them are falling, because my stamps are really old, so I have to wash them. If they get unsticky, what you want to do is wash them with just so uh, basic soap and water and let them air dry. Um, do not use a towel or anything, and then they'll become sticky again, and I haven't done that yet. But all of them are in order to this card. So if it's in this spot, that stamp is going to be right there. You know, if it's in the second spot, that stamp's going to be right there. So they're all right there. Gail, you did the same thing after seeing this. Is that what you did? So Diana, bless her heart. She made this card for me. It's eight and a half by five and it's laminated. It's laminated. And so what's really awesome is um, it's all laminated. So the stamps stick to it. So now I can keep them all on this card. I have the sheet that's going to show, and some of them are falling because they're old. The, um, the new ones totally stick, and if they're clean, they totally stick. Because the ones that are not sticking, I kept in a drawer by themselves like this. So that's why they're not sticking, but I just got to wash them. So they're on this laminated card. Now, I do have a laminator, a cheap, good laminator on my Amazon Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry, my Amazon Stephanie's favorite page if you don't have a laminator. But this is ideal you guys and I would just do one layer because you know you've got a lot on there you don't want any of them falling off but then you store them in there she made me two so I have two to start putting together but I am like in heaven because then you can see all the ones that you have and then it's like perfect I can just look and I go oh I want that one and then I'll know exactly where it is so Diana thank you so much hang on gotta get the one fell thank you so much I'm still working on that I started working on it last night and then um Ken and I started watching TV, so I had I went in the other room. But yes, I'm very excited about that. Um, I never thought, um, I never realized or paid attention to the fact that lamination is pretty much the same thing as the acetate we keep them on. So it fits perfectly on the um, laminated sheet. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, Sandra says, the hubby and I are currently on the road back from the Lake of the Ozarks for an early anniversary getaway. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Deborah said, I never thought to do that. I know, and I love it, because you know, all of my stamps are stored 
I mean, you know, all my stamps and dies are either in the stamp pockets or the stamps of life envelopes that are all this size. So now this can just be in the same type storage. So I don't have storage over here, storage over here, storage over here, storage. Over here. It's all in the basic same storage, which I'm really liking. Something is blocking my camera on YouTube. Oh, it's my phone. Hang on, I can move it down. It's my phone for face for Facebook. There we go. It's still showing a little tiny bit, but that's probably the best I can get. Um, let's see. Where can I find all your personal stamp sayings? Um, there's a lot on our website, Marion, but there's also some. Um, there should be. Hang on. Let me look really quick. There should be a gallery. Let me look. Dun, 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 dun. So there should be a personalized stamp idea gallery. Let me see. Uh, I know there is. Oh, there it is. So go to personalized stamps in the gallery section and people can. Oh, and good. Yay, people have been uploading their ideas, too. So does it say how many are in here? I don't know. But I have quite a few in there. Other people have added there. Not very many people have added there. So you guys upload your creations of what you've stamped. Oh, Trisha's Goofy stamped a whole bunch of hers on one sheet and did an upload. Thank you. So most of them are just some of mine. So um, yeah, please upload your ideas, the fun ones, Vicki, especially you, because you have a lot. Um, you can even just stamp them all on one page and then take a picture of it and upload it. That would be awesome. Sandra says, internet is amazing. I can watch you on a car ride. As long as you're not driving. <laughs> um, hi, Carol. Good morning. Card Stamper says that is a great idea. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. It was Diana's idea. And I'm going to show it also on Thursday so more people see it. And I don't think because I don't think Diane is here. But I wanted to give her a shout out because she made those two for me and um, laminated the pink sheets. And I was appreciative of that. And literally, you guys, the laminator um, that I use, it, I mean, it, you could probably find other reasons to use lamination. I do a lot of laminating because I, I'm a laminated type girl. Um, but hang on, I want to just find out how much it is because it's not that much. Um, and it's it's a heavy duty. Um, I mean, it's a good laminate. Oh, come on, how come it's not? There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, $33. So it's $33. And that comes with some sheets. So that's not bad. But I mean, I'm sure you can think of other ways to do it. Um, hi, Colleen. First live in a while on summer school vacation. Yay! Yay! Paula says laminating is good for instruction sheets that you reuse. Absolutely. Absolutely. Susan says that's the teacher in you. It absolutely is. I used to laminate everything on my bulletin boards uh, because I wanted to use them over and over again. Um, because I'll be honest, bulletin boards were one of my favorite things. One of my I love the children, but also one of my favorite things about doing um, when I taught was the bulletin boards. I loved bulletin boards. Everybody thought I was crazy because I'd go over overboard on my bulletin boards. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I laminate everything for my classroom. I know. Laminating is awesome. I, I'm a big laminator fan. <laughs> um, let's see. Love to see how to video on the happy fourth sim, slim line. Oh, maybe I'll do that this Thursday um, because we have the new... Do we have the... Is there another... Is the other basic, ooh, well, that's a sneak. Um, so another, see, I can never remember when things are coming out because I I mean, I did them eight months ago. Um, but yes, I will do a, uh, I might want to wait until the next week because then I can show it to you with something else. Um, uh, ooh, let's see. Grinelda says, while watching, oops, well, it's hard to see on Facebook. Uh, while watching soccer with my husband yesterday, I made nine cards with the partial fold over card and the piece of cake to stamp. That is awesome. I love it. And the June kit. Yay. Saying hi from Michigan, Jeanette says. I watch on YouTube. Awesome. Welcome. Um, can you demo the new tricolor aqua markers? Um, Paul, I have a couple videos on the tricolor aqua markers. Um, if they're not, I will have them, um, link the, the video, um, tricolor aqua video. Cause yeah, that should be list. That should be, um, linked on the, on the product page. Um, Georgian says I've been gone so long. I feel like I'm a newbie. Oh, oh. Um, Sandra D says, I remember teachers laminating their stuff and having long, big sheets of stuff to cut out. Yes, Sandra. So I used to do that when I was a kid for my mom. I used to cut out all her laminated things. Um, so my mom started teaching, I think when I was like 
12, 13 ish, 14 maybe. Um, but I remember I was 15 years old and I was in her because I was old enough then to be in the teacher's workroom and they had their laminators there and they had all their teacher stuff there and they had something there that changed the course of my life. <laughs> they had the Ellison letterpress machine. Back then it was called the letterpress machine. It wasn't even a die cut machine. It was the same, but it wasn't called the die cut machine. Later they changed the name to the die cut machine, but it had the Ellison dies and the big wood bulky dies. And I would go and I would die cut to my heart's content. And that was my first introduction to die cuts. And that's where I fell in love also with making bulletin boards. And then fast forward when that was when I was 15, fast forward to when I was pregnant with my second daughter at 26, my friend had given me um, some creative memories die cuts and an album and she wanted to get me into scrapbooking I'm like and she gave me like this album and these fancy pens and I'm like uh. and then in the package were some die cuts and I said wait what are these for and she goes that's to decorate your scrapbooks and I said I'm in sign me up <laughs> uh I'll do scrapbooking now because if there's die cuts I'm gonna do it and uh I have always always since I was 15 been in love with die cuts um I, totally. Now stamping, I got really into stamping when I was about, uh, let's see, I was, how old was I when KJ was born? 22. So I was about, when I didn't get into stamping until I was about 20. I got into stamping when I was about 20 and then scrapbooking when I was 26. But yeah. Um, Quilty says, please pray for my friend's granddaughter who was born six weeks early. NICU said she would be there for six weeks, but they sent her home. Oh, wow. Quilty, that's good news that they sent her home. Um, that's that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll add her to the um, my prayer list. Um, yeah, that's good that they sent her home after only two weeks. That's awesome. Cold Kala says, I had Ellison Machine at my first teaching job. Principal um, used to let me order all of the die cuts. Oh, wow. That's a big deal. Hi, Corinna, my love. Hello, hello. I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, Grinalda says, I have some Ellison dies. Yeah, I used to have a lot. So then when I started working with Ellison, uh, also known as um, their, their um, I guess you call it their sister company or the, another company that they go under is Sizzix. Um, when I started working with Ellison, I... Uh, because, well, when I started getting, this is funny. So when I started getting published, so Ellison is in Lake Forest. I lived in Laguna Niguel, literally 15 minutes away, right? And I was using AccuCut dies. They were back somewhere in, I don't know, Tennessee or something. And whenever I got my stuff published, it would say by Stephanie, in the magazines, it would say Stephanie Bernard in Laguna Niguel using AccuCut dies and these machine, this, this marker, this paper, blah, blah, blah. And the, the CEO at the time, uh, which I still to this day adore her. I, if I started walking down the street, I would literally run into her arms and hug her as hard as I could uh, adore her. Um, I, she kept seeing this Stephanie Bernard Laguna Niguel using AccuCut when her company was literally a, did a better job with dyes and was 15 minutes away from this Laguna Niguel girl. So she somehow reached out to me or I don't know how we got in touch, but in the beginning, but um, uh, she had me come into her office and she said, what do I have to do to get you to start using Ellison dies instead of AccuCut? And I said, uh, just give them to me and I'll start using them. And so I literally, this is before they had like endorsements, before they had influencers, before they had anything. She, I literally would have um, an allowance every year of how much I could spend and um, of how much product I could get for free uh, from Ellison. And, you know, their dyes back then, you know, because they were fancy. They are the big steel rule dyes with the real blades that, um, I mean, they had people back there ma hand making them. I mean, with big wood chunks. I mean, they were, they were expensive to make. And so um, I got a huge... Um, I, I got, I had alphabets. I had, I mean, I had so many, I actually used to keep them. I had so many that I eventually I had trays of them and I would keep them under my kids' beds and I'd pull them out and find the one I needed and push them back in because I had hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds. And, you know, each one is this big, you know, so it takes up a lot of space. Um, 
but yeah, so, and then they, um, that's when eventually go through all uh, years and years and years later, they came out with Sizzix. And then that, then I start, my, then my allowance became through Sizzix. And that's kind of how it all started. But uh, the CEO at the time, um, I mean, gosh, I have a spot in my heart for her. I love her so much. And uh, I should probably look her up just because I love her so much. Uh, she, uh, I remember one time, you know, keep in mind, she's this big CEO of this big company. And I'm just this little designer, right? At the time, this is, I mean, gosh, this is uh, 20 years ago. This would have been, I'm looking at my date, 2399. Yeah, this would have been at least 20 years ago. And I mean, I was pretty much a no-name designer back then. And we uh, we were both at a trade show and we were both going home the same day and obviously on the same flight, right? So we ran into each other at the airport and we share, we went to into Cinnabon at the airport and we shared a Cinnabon cinnamon roll. Now keep in mind, this is like a dream woman. She's running her own company, a CEO 20 years ago, a woman running a big company and this little tiny designer sitting there eating the Cinnabon cinnamon roll with this woman. And I, I was like, I was, I was in so much awe that she would even talk to me. And, um, it was just, it was the most beautiful thing. And these are happy tears. These are happy tears. And I remember one time I was at Ellison and, uh, I used to be a lot, I used to be a lot heavier. And, and in 2003, I lost about 20 pounds and I've kept off about 10, <laughs> but, I started to get really skinny. And I remember her coming up to me once and saying, Stephanie, are you okay? You know, I feel like you're losing a little bit. She was, she just, she was just so motherly to me and she was just so sweet. And I remember one time, um, she, she, I don't know where we were when she said this to me, but she said, Stephanie, and this is when I started my own company. And she, she just said, Stephanie, I am so proud of you. And that was the sweetest thing. And so if you, are ever in the position where you're an older person, a, a woman especially, sorry, I, these are happy tears. I'm just, she would, that just meant so much to me that this woman recognized what I was doing, starting my own company, just like her mother had started Ellison, you know, and she, she just said she was proud of me and coming from someone in her um, position, I mean, to this day, I remember it was probably 17 years ago and it was the sweetest, most loving thing ever. And, and I will cherish those memories forever because it was just so, any, yeah, Lynn says, anytime someone says they're proud of you, it's a reason to smile. Absolutely. And when it's someone that is, it is like in a position where you dream to be, it was just absolutely amazing. And, um, she did believe in me. She did. She did. Yes. Happy, happy tears. Happy, happy, happy. And happy years. Absolutely. Um, she was so kind to me and so loving. And I remember I used to, when I used to work there, this is all in the beginning. When I used to work there, I'd have to sign in every, cause I would go in every Tuesday and I have to sign in and I wore, um, I didn't have like a real badge. So I'd wear a visitor badge. And one time she saw me, she goes, why are you wearing a visitor badge? You are not a visitor here. You are, you are a part of us. And so she's like, you never wear a visitor badge again. You are a part with you. You are a part of Ellison. And that, that was just, um, she was, she's just an awesome human. Awesome. Awesome human. So yeah, good, good memories, good memories. Um, and so if you're ever, Tammy says, it's always good to give back like she did. Absolutely. And so if you guys are ever in a situation where, um, like I tell my kids all the time, I'm so proud of you. Like what, whenever they do something, um, because those words are so small, but they mean so much. So find someone. Um, Gail, you're so sweet, Gail. So yeah, I definitely want you guys to think of someone this week. I'm going to ask you next week, next week, if I remember, did you find someone to tell them that you're proud of them? Because it's, it, it is awesome. Sandra says, I have all the steel rule dyes you came out with. Sandra, that's awesome. I love that. Um, Grinalva says, I agree with you, Stephanie. My daughter came home one day and hugged me and said, I am so proud of you, mom. I have a coworker who knows and worked with you and talked amazingly about you. That was amazing. Oh, that's so fun. I love that. I love that. 
Uh, Pharrell says, happy tears. Good thing it's no makeup Monday. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so yeah, a little piece of, a little piece of, uh, Wonderful, wonderful history, wonderful history. So, oh, well, and then keep in mind, you guys, this is the this is the CEO of the company whose products I used when I was 15 years old in the teacher's lounge, teacher's workroom with my mom. You know what I mean? Like it was just this big, huge, it was so amazing to me. And my mom used to brag so much. My daughter works with Allison, you know, because like at the schools, everyone at the, any school, public school especially, knows who Allison is. And so, you know, it, back then especially, and it's, oh, it was just such a big deal. So um, it was, it, oh, thank you, Gina. You're so sweet. Um, uh, Lynn, I feel you, babe. I feel you. I, yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Um, Diane says, women supporting women is powerful. It is. It really is. There's room for everybody for success. And absolutely. Uh, Ramona says, I saw some of your old red rubber stamps. Actually, it was pink. But yeah, from a company that wasn't Stamps of Life on eBay. It was so weird. Ramona, yes. So that was from either. Um, we had two different names under that company. It was Sugarloaf Products doing business as Ink Boutique. I-N-Q-U-E. So uh, I did some designs for them before I started Stamps of Life. And they're the company I worked for before we started the company because um, that co that owner decided to change, um, uh, decided to retire and close the company. Another human being that I owe a lot to um, was the owner of that company, a nice man um, in Florida. I actually got to see him not that long ago when I went back for um, HSN. We met for dinner, he and his wife, and I just told him, thank you so much. It's because of you. One of the you're You're one of the stepping stones in my path to the stamps of life. And, uh, I said, you know, thank you so much. It's because, you know, you're, you're, you're a part of my journey. And he's like, Stephanie, <laughs> I'm what am I, what's with the crying today? He said, Stephanie, you would have gotten there with or without me. And that was sweet too. <laughs> what's with the crying? I'm sorry, you guys, these are all happy, wonderful memories. I'm, this is all happy tears. I promise. But again, another person that believed in me and, and loved me unconditionally. And it was awesome. So he, John was an amazing human. Uh, um, he's still alive. He is an amazing human. And he helped me get to the stamps of life and get me here. Bonnie says Sugarloaf was purple. Yes, Bonnie, we had purple, pink, and green. Um, CD, CD stamps, purple, pink, and green. So each... Uh, Purple was the standard color. I got to do pink because pink is my color. And then we had another um, designer that got to do green because she liked green, I guess. So, yeah. So it's very special. It's so special. Uh, Sandra says, I found you when I was stationed in England in 2012 and loved you ever since. Thank you, my love. So you might have seen me through uh, 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 Sugarloaf or Ink Boutique. They were very popular in the UK, actually. Um, it was Sugarloaf. Yes. It was called CDs. Yep. That they were. Um, yeah. So they had three different colors, um, purple, green, and pink. I don't think we did any other colors for some reason. I want to say we did a small amount of blue for one little project, but it was mostly those colors. Um, Connie says, Stephanie, you are loved so much. Thank you. Thank you. Gina says, I have some of those stamps. Yeah. Bonnie says, I knew you back then. Yeah. So, um, it's awesome. Susan says, we have all believe in you. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have all the awesome dyes and stamps you have designed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you guys are too kind. I, I just, it, it, it's, and it's also good for me to share this just because I don't want you to ever think that I did this on my own or, you know, this is my own journey. No, I had a lot of people um, on my path. And a lot of people, uh, and Ken especially, Ken, Ken probably um, pushes me in a good way all the time. Like, you know, well, you could do this, you should do this, and, and just encouraging me, and um, it's fun. Curtis says, a pic of you and I showed up a few days ago on my Facebook memories. It's been four years since we have seen each other. Oh, my goodness, Corinna. One popped up on mine. I haven't been on Facebook. I tried to get on Facebook. I just can't very often. But um, somebody, uh, one popped up of Paisley. Remember that name, Corinna? Paisley? Um, uh, Diane says, we went to a swim party for a girl 
that we are cycling for in December. She has cancer. She got that 40 cards that I signed up for. Her mom was so happy we came. The cards meant so the world to them. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Christine says, hi, Stephanie. I'm not getting notifications. Oh, no. Um, I think you're supposed to click the little bell. And if you think you've already clicked the little bell, click it again. Try it again. I don't know why you're not getting them. Bonnie says, I love Sam's life because of you. You're the best. Oh, thank you. You're too sweet. You're too sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah. So if you see tears, there. no, don't worry if you're coming in late. They're all happy, happy tears, happy memories that I'm just sharing out of the blue. I wasn't expecting about talking about this, but just talking about, you know, helping others um, in their in their career journeys and uh, uh, special people that were in my life. Um, so Lisa and John are probably... Um, two of the most influential people from my background that helped me get to where I am today. Um, and, and, uh, and I make it sound like I'm all this fancy person now. No, I'm not. It's just, it's just that uh, it, it's, it's an extreme blessing that Ken and I work for ourselves. Um, so we can help take care of the babies and, um, help Kirsten in any way we can. Um, and we have that flexibility. And, it, and and it's it's very special to us. So we can work at midnight, or we can work at 10 p.m. We can work anytime we want. So that's awesome. Um, Christine, I don't know what that means. Christine says her bell has a line through it. What the heck? I don't know what that means. Maybe click it again. I don't know. Um, Diane says my heart melted when her mom said that we were number one on her invite list. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Ellen says it's one. It is so wonderful how God places perfect people and situations into your paths, um, if we just recognize them. That's true, Ellen. And also, I guess I need to also do a shout out to my friend Kelly. Um, sadly, we're not um, friends anymore, but um, she was the one that at my baby shower for Katie, twenty seven plus years, twenty six years ago, um, gave me the die cuts that introduced me to scrapbooking, which started getting me published in the magazines, which started getting me on this journey. So. It's all awesome. Oh, Ponzi wants me to remind you to click like. Thank you, my love. I always forget that part. Um, but yes, I mean, definitely out of all, I mean, God is always first on, on getting me to self-employment. <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that I think I'm all that. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm very thankful to be um, self-employed. Uh, and um, we make enough money to pay the bills. And that's awesome. And so, um I'm just thankful. Grinelda says, Stephanie, I will send a picture to Faelene of something I drew for an idea of a die. Not a designer, but it came to my brain. Fantastic. We always love to see those ideas and things like that. Hi, Russ. Bells, Russ says, a bell with a line through it means no notifications. You want all, which is the black bell with some lines around it, making it look like it's ringing. Um, so click it again. Try that. Yeah. Quilty says, my family knows how much I love you and your products. A grand kitty sat this um, past this last week for my daughter and the kitties gave me a Sam's Love gift. Oh, oh, you babysat for the uh, week for your granddaughter and they gave you a Sam's Love gift card. How kind. Oh, Corinna, you're sweet. Corinna, did I see that you posted that you remember Paisley? I didn't see that. Um, uh, Sandra says, I always tell my husband how much I love you, you Ken, and your company because of everything you stand for. Thank you, Sandra. That's very kind. Thank you. Um, we just try to always follow what we feel God would want us to do. And um, that's, oh, yes. Thank you, Corinna. Yes, she does remember. <laughs> um, is that why your name is, your, your name is that handle? <laughs> um, uh, Ramona says, yes, it's surreal to watch your YouTube videos and buy your products and then see you in real life as a real treat. Oh, you're so sweet, Ramona. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, our anniversary, we had, hang on now, I'm, all, I'm talked out, hang on. Sorry. Um, we had our anniversary uh, 33 years on Friday. Uh, Ken took us to a, uh, he made reservations at a restaurant we'd never been to before called, it's in Corona Del Mar, fancy, fancy, but it wasn't that fancy, but it was, but it wasn't. But um, it's called Banderas, Banderas like Antonio Banderas and they're, they're famous. Oh, I get it, Corinna. They're famous for their ribs, but they had filet mignon and it was a special treat. So I got it. 
but Ken got the ribs. And let me just tell you, their ribs were better than the filet mignon. That's how good their ribs are. And I don't like ribs. I don't like bones. I, I don't do bones. But they literally, the meat, you hold up a bone and the meat falls off. And so Ken just gave me the rib meat. Oh, oh it was so good. It was so good. Oh, so good. Quilty says, love your shirt. Is it on your favorites list? Oh, I don't know. Hang on. I'm looking at my shirt. Hang on. Let me look. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Let me look really quick. Um, it might not be on my favorites list. I'm looking, looking at the favorites list. Uh, it is not, but I will go. Um, I don't, I, I don't remember if I got this there. I will look. Um, Grinalda said someone on the fan club page shared a YouTube of someone that made a Troy of your circle flip it. And she mentioned she loves this die. Her name is Rebecca Keppel. Um, oh, I'll have to go see if I can find it. Um, if you, if you can find a, um, a link, if you could send it to Faleen, that'd be awesome. Cause she can forward it to me. Um, Gail says, my husband wants to meet you and Ken after listening to No Makeup Mondays and Crafting Corners. Gail, he should have come to church that day. <laughs> um, Ellen says, happy anniversary to you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not on the faves list. I don't know. Uh, oh, and Corinna, yeah, the ribs, you don't, you don't, you use a fork and knife on the ribs because the bones fall out and you don't need to pick them up. Oh, they were just heavenly. I don't like ribs and they were heavenly. It was weird. Um, I will look for this top and try to see if I can find, I don't know if I got this on Amazon. This top is probably eight years old or more. I found it in the bottom of my drawer, but I, I do like it. I like how it's, I'll look, I'll look and see. Sorry. Um, thank you, Vera Blue. Hello. Hi, Beatrice. Hello. Um, so Michelle says not trying to flatter, but seriously, how do you look so young? Well, I do do Botox. I I'm full out honest about that Botox. I do Botox up here and I do Botox right here. Um, but other than that, um, I'll be honest. If you guys saw my mom, my mom is going to be 80 this year. If you saw my mom, you would think she was going to be about like 65 and she's never done any work on her face. Nothing, no Botox, nothing. And, um, in fact, growing up, I mean, not growing up. In fact, when my kids were growing up, they always thought she was their mother. They always skipped me. They always said, oh, is that your mom? And Kirsten would look and go, no, that's my grandma. <laughs> so um, it's, it's my mom has just really big jeans. Russ said, I did order a laminator. Clicking your link. I got a number of single small stamps um, that the laminator tip will work with as well. Awesome. Good. 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 Um, Russ, I didn't see. Are, when is your surgery? Is it, I, is it coming? More awake and energy last couple of days. Surgery scheduled for Wednesday. Good to hear it. Glad. Um, Krina says maybe the Botox is why you don't get migraines as much anymore. Um, yes. And Corinna, well, Kirsten suffers from severe headaches, severe headaches ever since she was 14, 13, 14. She's been through every, if they're not, they don't classify them as migraines because they're more in the back of her head back here. Um, but she gets Botox every 10 weeks. Her insurance pays for most of it. Um, and she gets 30 injections around the crown of her head and the back. And that helps her tremendously. So if you have good insurance, she has very good insurance. If you have good insurance and you suffer from headaches and you've tried everything else, she tried every medication known. We've done um scans, C scans, no, it's CAT scans, MRIs. We've done, she, we did a lumbar puncture. We've done every, every test in the book for that kid. And the, the Botox 30 injections does help her. So check that out. Um, oh, Eleanor says she watched Rebecca and videos and she saw her post and she was very good. Saw two stamps alive. Awesome. I'll have to check it out. Oh, Corinna, Corinna, please. It, but they're small needles. You barely feel them. Corinna, I beg you to go ask your doctor about it. And if your doctor doesn't know anything about it, go to a neurosurgeon. So Kirsten goes to a neurosurgeon that specializes in it. But now there's more and more. We used to have to drive like two hours to one. Now there's one that's by, um, by our house that um, she can go to. But it is, oh, it's heavenly. And I know 30 sounds like a lot. Oh, we tried acupuncture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we loved it. We tried it, but it didn't work. Um, 
please try it, Karina, because literally it's changed her life. And she knows when the 10 weeks is, is wearing off because she's like, oh, it's kind of time to go because it starts to wear off. But it's it it's like a miracle worker, miracle worker. So, um, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's, yeah. Um, oh, Lynn says, hubby had surgery on his tongue on Thursday. Please pray that it's not cancer. Oh yeah, goodness, I hope he's okay. Um, Marianne says, I'm going through this migraine thing now. Just came back from an x-ray. I had a migraine for eight days and was an ER. Oh, Marianne. I'm telling you, um, once they try everything, once they try everything on the migraines, then try, th then they'll let you try the Botox because Botox is so expensive. It's an expensive treatment. But if usually your insurance, if you try everything else, then they'll let you do that. Yeah, we ended up in the emergency room multiple times with Kirsten and they would give her IV drugs, wouldn't work. And they finally just send her home and say, there's nothing we can do. But we know it's not a brain bleed kind of thing. So it was awful. Um, Christine says, could I ask for prayers, please? I'm having a breast biopsy for two lumps on Friday. Ultrasound showing moderately suspicious. Oh, Christine. On, on what day? On Friday. Yes, writing it down right now. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, definitely, definitely try that. Um, Ellen says, um, uh, craft roulette is going to contact you about being on the show. Uh, yeah, they actually have reached out. I think, I think Katie's talking to them. They're just trying to look at the schedule to see if we can, um, fit it in. I don't know if it can work this summer. We have a lot going on this summer, but, um, hopefully, hopefully sometime this year. Um, um, Melissa says, say prayers for my hubby. He's been waiting Kaiser to schedule hip surgery. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, um, bring it down. Um, Beatrice is saying prayers for everyone that needs it. Thank you. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Susan says, I have Bell's palsy and I get Botox in my right eye every three months. It doesn't really hurt. And I'm very needle shy. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. It really does. Like you feel a little, oh yeah, a needle's going through me, but it doesn't, it, they're so, so tiny. They're so tiny. So you, oh gosh, it's 11. I got to go. I have a, I have a phone conference at 11. <laughs> oh, she's going to call. But um, my friends, thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support and your prayers. They absolutely mean the world to me. And um, thanks for joining me on this amazing life journey that we're all on. Um, it's so awesome that we get to spend time together and, and spend time to just visiting and chatting and talking and praying for each other. And, and I appreciate you all so much. And if you go back and watch, um, the video, all the tears are happy tears. I promise. Uh, just going back up down memory lane and thinking of all the wonderful people that have gotten me to, um, self-employment, which I'm, I, it, it's, it's been a blessing for our family. So thank you all so much. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I will see you on Thursday for a crafting corner. And I know a lot of you have gotten to, um, hang out and check out that, um, that sea turtle folded. I know a lot of you love that because a lot of you signed up for the folded club that weren't in the folded club, but thank you so much. I will see you Thursday. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye. If I can find the button, I can never find the button. <laughs>